Sex ed has traditionally been taught by health teachers in classroom settings against a backdrop of uncomfortable silence and nervous laughter. But now one young woman is revolutionizing the way kids learn about sexuality by creating a no-holds-barred YouTube series. Here's my Nightline co-anchor Juju Chang with the latest in our series, Social Stars. Oh, hi, babes. Oh, hi, babes. Hey, Internet. Nope, nope. What are you doing? Um, uh, down there. Yeah, a little closer. Lacey Green is bringing sex ed into the 21st century, one YouTube click at a time. The idea of a single sex talk. Talking relationships. Can I kiss you? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> feminism. I have to come clean. I, Lacey Green, am a feminist. And all things sex. So if you've ever doubted my commitment to orgasms, now is the time. On her YouTube channel. I think the YouTube and the internet has offered a space to be like, we're going to talk about it anyway. And if you're uncomfortable, you can leave. No topic too sensitive. Man, where do I even start? To off limits. Houston, we have a problem. Too serious for the outspoken 27-year-old. I'm trying to cover all of the things I wish that I had known when I was about 12 or 13. Raised in a Mormon family, Lacey says growing up, she felt ashamed of sexuality and lacked places to turn for trusted information. We moved our butts to Portland, Oregon. My mom had a daycare. If that is something that a lot of young people experience, that sort of small town growing up and not really having anywhere to go to talk about sexu sexuality, and that's why I started doing what I do. And it's paid off nearly 1.5 million YouTube subscribers and named one of Time's most influential online. She shot to internet stardom by offering a safe space to ask questions and get no-nonsense answers about uncomfortable topics. Let's talk about pain during sex. Can porn be addictive? Only I had known then what I know now. My video are meant to be an alternative to a sex education classroom. So you can learn about STIs, you can learn about body image, you can learn about how sexuality and gender issues play out in the world. Lacey's work comes at a time when nationwide only 24 states require that public schools even teach sex ed. 35 states and D.C. still allow a parent to opt out for their child. Why is sex ed important for kids who aren't getting it either at school or at home? Because if kids are not getting some kind of education, they're going to get wrong information or they're going to find out on their own, acting it out, which can lead to self-destructive behavior. She's billed as a millennial Dr. Ruth. When you say a fling, that worries me. What I liked about Lacey is that she's not overly sexualized. She's not selling her own sexuality. And it is what makes the appeal of Dr. Ruth similar. Yes, Dr. Ruth also was this cute little person, this older woman, someone you never would expect to talk about sex, talking about sex in this very easy and natural way. For millennials, that hot topic, consent and sexual assault prevention on campus. Consent isn't just hot, it's also mandatory. A cause she often champions. Last year, making waves with this video. Notice how consent is a clear yes, it's enthusiastic. I want it! It's out loud and there's no doubt in your mind. I think conversations about consent are really critical and kids are not getting those conversations anywhere. If someone says that they're not sure, that means no. You know, the only thing that means yes in my classroom and in, I think in the way it should be in the world is if someone says yes enthusiastically, verbally. Which is in part why just a few days before the election, she told us candidly why she finds Donald Trump so objectionable. He's Voldemort, and um, I think that we, he has to be stopped in terms of how he treats women, how he regards LGBT folks, how he has talked about people of color. He is a nightmare human. And now President-elect Trump is getting the full force of her crusade in the arena of sexual politics with this entitled Trumpocalypse. Trump saw that. He saw the undercurrent of misogyny and racism. And he rode that wave to electoral college victory. Although she's built a base online, Lacey is also reaching beyond the screen, speaking at military bases and colleges, doing Q&As at VidCom, tackling consent and sexual taboos. You know who pays the price for the fact that we don't give people information? Kids. Most of the time, it's, I can't talk to my parents. I feel unsupported. Thank you for being there for me. Though she doesn't have an MD or a PhD, she's now seen as a sex expert in an age where some kids say they learned about sex through porn. 
And yet, does it trouble you that someone like Lacey Green, who's dispensing advice to millions, literally, of young people, mm -hmm. is, you know, doesn't have that kind of credential? If you don't have that formal education, then you don't have a license, probably, so you're probably not held to the same high standard. Um, but there are people who are very well educated who are not interesting to listen to and therefore can't get information out there in a way that really reaches people. And Lacey notes that her videos are self-researched and based on scientific studies. There are high risk strains and low risk strains. Lacey sells herself as a feminist. And here are a few of my reasons why. A title that comes with its fair share of online attackers. There's only two genders, only two you up. I feel like I'm in an abusive relationship with the internet sometimes. But she says she's determined to stand up to the bullies, motivated by the gratitude she says she gets from her fans. Your videos taught me not only to smile, but love myself and learn lots of new things about the world and my body. I love your videos and they've taught me so much. I can't get over how inspired I am by you. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in New York.